Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Well, they had another large to moderate size earthquake there along the Aleutian Islands of Alaska, a 6.1, 41.3 kilometers in depth. So this would be about 25.6 miles below sea level. 15 people so far have reported this earthquake. Felt reports, here we have Anchorage up towards the top. And let's look at this one here. We got one response from Homer. Um, probably that same person that reported uh, last time when many other people didn't report it. Uh, they're probably earthquake sensitive and are more um, patriotic in the reporting of their earthquakes, I guess you could say. We got uh, uh, one response from Chignik. Let's see, we've got two responses from Sandpoint, one response there from Sandpoint, three from King Cove, uh, one response also from King Cove, and five responses from King Cove. The depth of this earthquake shows that, yeah, this is caused by subduction of the Pacific Plate under the North American Plate. Here was a lot of the earthquakes that I posted from before. Over here was at magnitude 7.8, and this is today's 6.1. As I've stated before, the Pacific Plate is slowly shrinking, and more likely along the Juan de Fuga fault line, there will be later earthquakes in this area, just like there was before. They had that 5.4 after that 7.8 which was on July 22nd. A good example how they have the settings for different monitors uh, cranked up so the earthquakes don't really show. Up at the top is Norris Junction as that earthquake came in, that 6.1 Yellowstone Lake. And this is Madison River. Let me pull it over for you. Yeah, it made the earth ring like the bell. And I'm sure the uh, calderas along the Cascadia um, fault zone let me go ahead. Oh, let's go ahead two hours. I'm sure it shook up their calderas too. See that? And look at all these aftershocks here. Let me pull it over so you can see them. That register here at Madison River. I'll go ahead another two hours. Yeah, look at this activity that's going on. Now, remember, Madison River is just below uh, the area of Norris Junction. And we'll go ahead another two hours. Okay, this one here is Yellowstone Lake. And I'll bring it over for you. We got another earthquake right there that registered at Norris Junction. Just came in. Uh, Yellowstone Lake looks a little big, bigger. And the Madison River. Let me change the settings. Maybe we can see it there at Madison River if I change the settings. Let's see. Yeah, just a little blip there. But I've got this set at, uh, let me show you, uh, scale data, 102 for the amplification. And then um, the one I have for this one is 502. And then the one above it, which is Norris Junction, I have that set at 502. So I really had to change the settings here to uh, show that earthquake. Yeah. So in the last week in this map area, there's been 222 earthquakes. And I'll pull it up so you can see. Um, they also had a 1.1. That's over here. It says here, Woman's Bay. Uh, let me close that. A 3.9 sand point. A 5.0 sand point. It's actually close to the same location as that um, 6.1. And so we got 6.1. Looking just for the larger ones. Prior to that, uh, 6.1 was a 5.5. And that was, see, 41.1 kilometers in depth. Yeah, we got 
um, subduction going on. The plates are moving. The continents are moving. The Pacific Ocean is shrinking. Now there was a 4.9 that was on the 26th. And let's see what else we got. Yeah, a lot of these. Now when you see an earthquake here, example, for the depth minus 2.2. .2. Where is that one at? Oh, that's up over here. That would mean that this earthquake here was above sea level. And you can see here that's been causing a lot of shaking um, for other fault lines. Yeah, the other islands. Let's see. That one was deep. 178.6 kilometers. Yeah, 70 kilometers. That would be in the... Uh, um, upper crust or the mantle of the earth. Evidently in Harrisonburg, Virginia. This was an image that Steve posted on Twitter of that 6.1 earthquake. And I also found on the public radio there at Sand Point along the Aleutian Islands a public notice about damage that was sustained to Sand Point, Alaska. Um, a public notice here showing that the dock uh, was going to be closed to all people after that 7.8 earthquake. Also on alaskapublicradio.org, uh, uh, they had images of some minor damage to the city there. The uh, fish processing plant there, which employs about 400 people, was evacuated to how higher ground uh, when they had that 7.8 earthquake. Um, Evidently, it was the first time the fish processing plant, but luckily it was only about one foot in height. AlaskaPublic.org said that Keeler said the community tsunami siren sounded and the evacuation to the local school was ordered, even with only two public safety officers in the community. I have to give a shout out to the people there at Sand Point. Thank God no one was injured. But before I go, I wanted to check the tsunami warning um, alerts and see what we got if anything from this uh, 6.0 alright Alaska British Columbia West Coast information and we'll pull it over it says a tsunami is not expected so that's all I have for you right now about that um, if you have any thoughts or comments or questions please put it down below Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I'm also on Patreon, and I'm also on Twitter, and I have PayPal. Uh, please stay safe, and I will talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.